I have always believed we would see economic cycles. Uh, I'm on uh, record in 2002 in, a, in an article um, published by the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas uh, with Mark Wynn, um, in which we talk about the recent uh, trend of inflation targeting among central banks. And, uh, and we argue for price level targeting instead of inflation targeting. We say that um, this has worked pretty well uh, in the past 10 or 15 years, but the economy has been quite benign, benign in the sense that uh, there haven't been any big shocks like the ones we used to see in the 60s, 70s, uh, early 80s. Uh, so. Uh, it still remains to be seen when we see a big shock and we got <laughs> so by that I mean I never had any doubt that there would eventually be shocks I wasn't looking forward to it and I knew that it was reasonably unpredictable uh, exactly when it would hit um, I, I, I'm uh, one of the two papers for which, for which I'm no, known and that the Nobel Co Committee cited uh, talks about the role of, uh, of um, a, an important role of a shock that if you study it statistically it behaves more or less like random walk and ra random walk is by nature unpredictable and so uh, uh, to me it, it, it's not a uh, big shock that this shock uh, turned out to be uh, to take some people a lot of people by su surprise I when I'm co confident regulation is needed I'm not in favor of over regulation um, the general economic principle is if the government provides insurance which is what they effective, effectively do if they say that some uh, businesses some institutions are too big to fail then uh, uh, that has to be combined with uh, with a regulation so, so that's that's a very particular context if the government provides insurance there has to be a regulation I, I have read some recent uh, projections suggesting that population growth is slowing down and at some point, maybe 50 years in the future, it will be uh, become uh, quite small. Uh, so that suggests that overall growth will be much lower even though uh, growth per capita could still r rise. Uh, I, I have looked at the data f for income per capita of lots and lots of countries. There are countries in Africa and in some other places where the, where the income per capita is maybe uh, one twenty-fifth, one thirtieth of, uh, of uh, U.S., Canada, Western European nations. Uh, extremely poor. A and I think those countries uh, they deserve institutions and, and uh, other environments in such a way they they can grow and, and get closer in growth to uh, uh, closer in income per capita uh, to uh, to the more well-to-do countries and uh, uh, I don't see why that wouldn't be feasible and it's certainly desirable. <laughs>